Uncle Bob lived alone. His wife died last year, and his son was married and lived out west. <coughs> he was a little bit lonely, but it was okay. He was a pretty good cook and could make his beans just the way he liked them. All that winter, Uncle Bob had been feeling a little under the weather. Nothing particular. Nothing he wanted to talk about anyway. Just this damn cough. <laughs> he was cleaning up the mess he made when he noticed the mailman coming a little earlier than usual. Bills, probably, thought Uncle Bob. It was late in the winter. Heck, it was almost spring. But the snow just wouldn't let up. Uncle Bob liked shoveling snow. But all the same. Suddenly, he had a pain in his chest, like nothing he'd ever felt before. <laughs> Uncle Bob was getting up in years, and though he'd had his share of close calls and colds and that sort of thing, He'd never been sick enough to go to the hospital. Yet, here he was, <clears throat> tucked in a strange bed, people poking him, feeling him up, or x-raying something or other. He wasn't too comfortable, let me tell you. For one thing, he wasn't used to eating in bed. He wasn't used to peeing in bed. Hey, what about a little privacy? Oh. Uncle Bob was in a big room with some other old fellows. <coughs> they were all sick too. It was pretty boring in there. Hello? Except when his roommate, Bud, had visitors. <laughs> Keep it down over there, called Uncle Bob. Every night was the same. Uncle Bob would just get to sleep when... <laughs> Here's your sleeping pill. <laughs> He hated that. The meals weren't bad. Not what he'd eat at home. But he couldn't complain. He wasn't hungry anyway. Ugh. Once they learned that Uncle Bob was in the hospital, his friends brought him all sorts of things he couldn't eat. Huh? The cleaning staff put the leftovers in the cupboard where they grew brown and fuzzy. People sent flowers. Too many flowers. The smell of lilies gave him a headache. His friend Ethel said, Ma, you look good. Such color. His friend Ernie said, mm -mm -mm. Looks worse to me. Hmm. 
Bertha from the Seniors Club came by to talk about her troubles. My, she had a lot. His sister brought him some of her favorite books to read. Said Uncle Bob. Hmm. How about the news? All I got was to be Uncle Bob said, read something else. His friends were getting a little worried about Uncle Bob. Then Ethel remembered how much she loved music. So they tried something else. That was too sad. The days dragged on and on. Uncle Bob's old life felt like a distant memory. Hello. One day. The social worker came by to ask Uncle Bob what he planned to do when he got out of the hospital. The social worker thought it might be time for him to move into a nice seniors complex. Uncle Bob thought he'd just as soon go home and keep on pretty much the same as before. What if you have another heart attack? When I'm taking all these pills? How about your son? Couldn't you live with him? No. That evening, Uncle Bob didn't want his bedtime snack. He didn't want to take his pills. He didn't want to talk to Bud. No one knew how to cheer up Uncle Bob. Not his friends, not the nurses, not the doctors. Then one day, his son Robert flew home with his wife and little daughter Angela to see how Uncle Bob was getting along. <laughs> Yep. <sighs> of course, everybody wanted to talk to Robert right away. Oh. Hmm. Huh? No one was paying any attention to Uncle Bob or to Angela. Let's have a look at her," said Uncle Bob. So while Robert and the rest of them had their meeting, Angela and her grandfather had a little, well, a sing-along. For one thing, off the bed, Missy," ordered the nurse. Said the nurse. <laughs> Uncle Bob couldn't remember when he'd had so much fun. Mm -hmm. He was happy to get his hair done too. That Angela certainly had the professional touch. After a few weeks of visits from Angela and the others, Uncle Bob was starting to feel a whole lot better. He was getting out of bed for breakfast. He was even eating his big porridge. Have to get my strength back, thought Uncle Bob.
When the nurse came by with fresh pajamas, Uncle Bob said, Nope. Gonna get dressed today. He was just pulling up his socks when he heard Angela's voice. Grandpa. Coming, said Uncle Bob. Where are we going? <laughs> Life kind of felt like it was getting back to normal. When Uncle Bob had his next stress test, everything went so well that the doctor told him he could go home. Congratulations, old man said his friend Ernie. Uh, uh -huh. Good luck, said Bud. Same to you, said Uncle Bob. Papa? Uh, yep. Uh, hey! Away they went. Out of the hospital uh. to Uncle Bob's little house in the country. Wow, wow. Hmm. Looks like I have new neighbors, said Uncle Bob. <coughs> That's right, said Robert. <coughs> we bought the place. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Yep, said his son. <sighs> We're going to be your new neighbors. Well. <laughs> that evening, Uncle Bob couldn't wait to make himself a little supper. The beans were just getting warm when... Well, now... Mm. Come in, come in, said Uncle Bob. So Angela came in. And what with one thing and another, they all spent a very pleasant evening together.